Hi, this is Abib from Preston Audi, and this is the Audi A1 Sportback S-Line. This model has a 30 TFSI engine with 116 PS and slick 6-speed manual gearbox, delivering a sporty yet engaging drive. This model has had one previous owner. Starting at the front of the car, we have the S-Line enhanced exterior styling, including the aeronaut grills, radiator grille and front bumper, giving this a stylish front end. While as standard, we have the striking LED headlights, providing high-quality illumination. Moving around the side, we have the optional 17-inch 5V spoke design alloy wheels, which look amazing and complement the stunning glacier white paintwork perfectly. While there's also S-line badges on the front wings, heated, electrically adjustable body-coloured door mirrors with integrated LED side indicators, black side under trim strips, as well as the optional privacy glass for the rear windows, so you can be reassured that nobody will be looking in if there's anything stored on the rear seats. While if we move around the back, we have LED rear lights with dynamic rear indicators. And as mentioned earlier, the s line enhanced exterior styling also includes a referred spoiler, rear bumper and rear diffuser, giving this a stylish overall look. To access the boot, just hold down the buttons on the key or use a soft release on the hatch. For quite a nimble hatchback, this has a surprisingly spacious boot, with 335 litres of space, so there's plenty of room to add your shopping or even a pushchair. While folding down the rear seats means you can add in those larger and longer items, such as flatback furniture. I want to load everything, just pull down to close. Overall, this is a really stylish hatchback that definitely looks the part, especially with the optional 17-inch alloy wheels. While even though it has a nimble profile, there's a surprisingly spacious interior, with plenty of space for all passengers to sit comfortably. While on the cloth and leather upholstered seats, it means they can travel in luxury too. These are really comfortable and supportive, especially on long journeys. While there's also the added benefit of ice fix points for the outer rear seats, so you can be reassured that your child seats will stay secure while on the move. But now let's have a look at the interior from the driver's perspective. And what a great interior this is. In front of you, there's a three-spoke leather multifunction sports steering wheel with buttons to control the digital cockpit you see ahead of you, as well as the infotainment display on the centre console. On the left-hand side of the steering wheel, we have these toggle switches which you can use to change the display ahead. We have general car information which can display consumption, both short-term and long-term, as well as driver assist. There's also DAB, digital radio and media, as well as telephone equipment for your connected device. And if you find the information too distracting, you can have the reduced display on by clicking view. But if you click it again, it will display the information. This model has already done 13,716 miles. While I was registered on the 16th of May 2019, its warranty is still valid until the 16th of May 2022, while it will also come with the original set of two keys. As standard, we have the 8.8 inch multimedia interface radio plus display screen, with functionalities such as DAB, digital radio, media controls for your connected device with various sources such as Bluetooth and USB, telephone equipment for your connected device, as well as general car settings. We also have the smartphone interface, which allows you to connect your device media directly into the car via USB for the use of Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, and you can find the USB port just below the toggle switches on the centre console. Moving down, we have the controls for the manual air conditioning, which are standard on this model, and with the easy to access toggle switches, you can easily change the temperature, speed and direction on the move without taking your eyes off the road. As standard, there's also Audi's Drive Select, which allows you to alter the driving dynamics by choosing one of the pre-configured modes. There's plenty of modes to choose from, such as Efficiency and Auto, with Individual allowing you to customise your options. But our personal favourite is Dynamic, as it's the most driver-focused. There's also Pulse Cloth and Leather upholstered front sport seats, which are really comfortable and supportive, especially on long journeys, while the polygon structure inlays really uplift the interior ambience. Overall, this is a really impressive interior, blending high quality materials and build quality with some great technology. This was the walk around of the Audi A1 Sportback S-Line. If you'd like to end your viewing, test drive or request a personalised finance quote, please contact us. Thank you for watching.